Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Boilermakers have risen to every occasion this year. They're ranked number one because of that. But now the margin for error is not razor thin. It's non-existent. You cannot have a misstep here. And at this point in the season, there are teams playing for championships and teams playing to spoil other teams' dreams. That's quite a burden to bear. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Evanston, Illinois at Ryan Field is where this game is taking place. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Fields is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. From his own goal line, he makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Nice run there. Garrett's the kind of kid that just continues to impress us, Herbie. I mean, he's taking his game to the next level, and his stats are making everyone in the country take note. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Third down in a yard. Ball on their own 29. He's to the 40, brought down around the 45-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the 35. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big time advantage over any defense. From the 35 yard line, first down. And he's level at the 20. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Bring him down at the seven. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of six yards. That brings up second and goal. The 
is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Boilermakers. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at what's happening in the top 25. The Wolverines hammer that running game and score a touchdown. Michigan on top, 14-10. And for Purdue, they just played the Hawkeyes last week. The Purdue to kick this one off. Kickoff. Number 30, back to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He fights forward to about the 26. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. the stop around the 36 yard line. From the 41 yard line. First down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 33 yard line. That makes it second and two. it and he'll lose yardage no gain on the play that'll bring up third and two so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend.
22 yard line. Second down. Davis goes with the play fake, throws it in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at the 17-yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. Third down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. hit before it can go anywhere. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but you know, they're converting when they have to. That makes it first and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. So at the end of one quarter, the Boilermakers lead 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. up about four yards on the delayed handoff. That brings up second and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Tailback brought down for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Touchdown, Northwestern! A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A 13-play, 76-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. We get a tie game at 7-7. He's taken down at the 48. That return should help the offense out a little. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he might want it all here and does. Got it. Touchdown, Purdue. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. He makes the PAT. Thornton's ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Little handoff. And he is drilled at the 27. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. Fourth and seven. Holly back to return it. He's at midfield. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The Boilermakers' game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let it ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Purdue is up a score. Going long. Can't connect. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it first and ten. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. They'll spread the field with five wide. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First and 10. Ball on 24. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he hits him hard at the 32. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Here's a draw. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Purdue's going to take their first time out of the half. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Fields awaits the snap. And he 
he's taken oh, down at the 40-yard line. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Once and all, going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Purdue up seven points. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He wants it all going long. Missed him. This isn't how you get an offense going, and it can't help anybody's confidence. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. seven yards good decision here nice dump off it's only seven yards but the offense will take that play every time second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down it's halftime and we've got a close one 14-7 boilermaker Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Purdue's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. It's out to around the 35. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He might have a chance. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 49. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll work the right side. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second and 10. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Four down, four down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, 
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. yard line first down catches it and he's looking for more and they push him out at about the nine yard line that makes it second and two tenth play of the drive to that quick and it's going the other way it's a great job in coverage by this linebacker he does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception from the 42 yard line it's first down Purdue is up seven he's gonna go for the home run can't haul it in. Very the That makes it second and ten. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 28. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Number 89 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Kill, kill, kill! The other three. Watch two, watch two. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Quick pass. And he's tackled right around the 20. That's the way you fly Game of the eight yards. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Gets to about the 17-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The traditional Pac-12 matchup between UCLA and USC in the battle for the victory belt. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. And for Neal, he's caught one for a touchdown. UCLA has the lead, 28-27, midway through the fourth quarter. In another game, 
Land-grant institutions play for the Land-grant trophy. Michigan State and Penn State. The Spartans unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. Watson. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 23. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. Third down. made at about the 29 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Fourth down. Holly is back awaiting the punt. Holly takes it at the 33 and he's tackled the 39 yard line. The Boilermakers have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built in the first half. Well they did a nice job in the first half but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage and they've taken uh, full advantage of that. So at the end of the third quarter Purdue leads 21-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires that quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 43-yard line, second down. And he gets a yard on the run. Taken down at the 34. Oh, this is a great job by this young man to get the ball out of his hands. He was facing an all-out blitz and didn't panic at all. It's a nice pass and a new set of downs to show for it. From the 34-yard line, first down in the shotgun and five wideouts. He's brought down in the open field. three-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. It's away from him. Touchdown. And that's his second touchdown of the day. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. UCLA and USC match up in the battle for the victory belt. This was a tight one to the very end. The Trojans pull it off by two. 
in other action. A good one going in Ann Arbor. The Wolverines grab the 12-point win. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And set to return. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Purdue's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. They come out in a five-wide set. Strike to his receiver, no good. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 37. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 46-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46. He's in trouble. He's on the run. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down at about the 13. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. Here they come. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. Short pass, middle of the field. Big play, and it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Defense and their short yardage package. Touchdown, Wildcats. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You, know, you could throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. The score now, 28-14. Well, that should pretty much do it for him. Well, at least these guys showed great effort. My hat goes off to these young men for playing so hard out there today. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. So it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just under two to go in the game. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Northwestern will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Hey, 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 hey. 
inside the 10. Touchdown, Boilermakers. That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. Tacks on the extra point. A short three play, 37 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. from their own 45-yard line. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He heaves it deep. He's got it! And he scores! Touchdown! That'll give him 2,000 passing yards now. Anytime you start talking about numbers like these, you're talking about a consistent and successful quarterback. And that certainly describes this young passer. And he adds the extra point. A short two-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's looking for six. He scores. What a play. And Herbie, that aerial touchdown might be all they need. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, they're putting up points here in the fourth quarter, but it really doesn't matter because of the first 45 minutes. Well, maybe this will help them in the next game that they play, but you got to play four quarters to have a chance to be competitive. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He zips it out to the right. This one is incomplete. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. He's under some heat. 
and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. A little over a minute in the game. He's under pressure. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. On the throw, incomplete pass. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. Screen pass, he's got his halfback. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Wise picks up about five yards on that hookup. That'll bring up fourth and five. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost them the possession. guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here so much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers right now with this offense they are in sync and really the timing and execution is flawless And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, Purdue 42, Northwestern 21. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.